ongoing celebrations across Zimbabwe and beyond following the resignation of Robert Mugabe as president. Former Vice President Emerson Nagagua earlier on Wednesday arrived back in Zimbabwe from South Africa. He is due to be sworn in on Friday. No word yet on what next for Robert Mugabe and his wife Grace Mugabe. The 93-year-old ruled Zimbabwe for 37 years. Most in the country have known no other leader aside from him, so they're eager for change. Right, we're getting you live pictures now out of Harare and the ZANU PF headquarters in the city. Incoming President Emerson Mnagagwa is making his very first address to the public since his return to Zimbabwe. Let's listen in. from people outside the executive to implement the government and to run the government. But the people of Zimbabwe yourselves have refused. I think you have heard of or read my letter which I sent to His Excellency asking the President Mugabe and say, Mr. President, the people have spoken. Yes. You yourself said, if the people say I must step down, you shall comply. Yes. This is the time to comply. Yes. Because the 
the voice of the people is the voice of God. Today, we are witnessing the beginning of a new and unfolding democracy. in which our defense forces and the leadership Wenga. of General Chuenga have been able to manage this process very peacefully. I was in constant contact with the service chiefs throughout. Yes. And may I also inform you that in my discussions with some heads of state, including spending today about one and a half hours President Zuma, also the President of Namibia, uh, the former President of Tanzania Kikwete, and others, they have hailed the discipline and the peacefulness of the people of Zimbabwe. They are saying the way you have managed this process makes Sadiq proud, not only on this continent, but worldwide. Played by Comrade Mpofu in the Politburo, who systematically, constitutionally, processed the process which led to a point where the president, the former president, uh, yeah. Abe, said, yes. Yes. I now step down. Yeah. The former yeah. president yeah. of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Yeah. I, with great respect and humility and profound gratitude to my colleagues in the Central Committee and Politburo in the manner in which they constitutionally processed the resolutions which persuaded this moment to come by. Currently, also, before I conclude, because time is gone, I'm going to make my formal speech. Uh, on Friday, yeah. around 10 o'clock. I also wish to mention the manner in which the Speaker of Parliament handled the process. He was under tremendous pressure from the powers that were at the time, but he stood his constitutional rights as a Speaker. I applaud him for that. The intention to derail this process, that intention was intense. But, as he said, the will of the people will always, always succeed. Incoming President Emerson Mnagagwa making his first address to the public since his return home. He says that Zimbabwe is witnessing the beginning of a new democracy and 
He has lauded the army for managing the process peacefully. Emerson Mnagagwa is expected to be sworn in as Zimbabwe's new president on Friday.